A week away from the very first day of school for many Portland students, Mayor Ted Wheeler is now looking to clear out all homeless camps, both near schools and on kids' walking routes. And you can see by these before photos that there were numerous camps in squalid condition that needed to be cleaned prior to the start of the school year. Fox 12's Michael Thomas joins us now live from Southeast Portland with a closer look at the city's plans and how people near schools are reacting as these camps come down. Michael. Yeah, good evening, everyone. You know, this topic is very controversial. Everyone's got their own opinion of how it should be taken care of, but the city says this is the best way that they can come up with. Take a look. This is one of the schools that's on the list to get cleared out. Now, earlier on Twitter, uh, Mayor Ted Wheeler did take to social media saying that he went to go check the areas of those schools on the list to make sure everything was getting done. Now, I can attest that I did go over to Lee Elementary. That area was cleared, but a neighbor tells me that really wasn't a problem area, but he knows of some places that are. Take a listen. It's camps like these that are set to be taken down, all of which are near a school or near a walking route that kids use to get to school. The effort to make this happen was announced just weeks before Portland students returned to class. But people like Steve Cornell, who live in the Lintz neighborhood, say it may not work. It's kind of a token of thing that's important, but not solving anything overall. Cornell lives near a walking route that's set to be clear, but says that there aren't many camps there. He's more concerned about other spots. Along Powell, uh, Kellogg Middle School, I think it is, there's just huge, vast camps of people living along that street, which I wouldn't want my kids uh, if I had school age kids, I wouldn't want them walking by there at all. The city told us in a statement it's been focusing on safe walking routes for several weeks and has cleared out over a dozen camps since the announcement. Now that includes areas near Cleveland High School, Park Rose High School, and Child Peace Montessori School. Cornell says it's not enough. Well, that's a great idea. It's it's just. Uh, affecting the tip of the iceberg that's the whole problem. But the city says with limited resources, it's prioritizing camps that are around elementary schools and middle schools, posting signs and giving people a 72-hour to 10-day notice to leave the area. Now, they're also offering shelter beds, all in hopes to get these areas cleared. We as a city, city leaders, need to tell these campers where they can camp and then have designated camp spots Back out here live outside of uh, Cleveland High School, you know, officials did tell me, I spoke with them today, and they said that they do know there's a lot of complaints. They've got all of those complaints, and they urge anyone who sees any of these camping areas near, near a school, excuse me, or on those routes to contact them at 311 or to report it to PDX Reporter. Live here in Southeast Portland, Michael Thomas, Fox 12, Oregon.